We're here in the Wood River system, which is a major tributary of the Nushagak River, which flows into Bristol Bay. We're probably about 350 miles west of Anchorage. Bristol Bay, of course, is home to the world's largest sockeye salmon fishery. And this year we're going to see something close to 80 million sockeye salmon return to uh, Bristol Bay's rivers. That smashed the record that we saw last year, which was close to 70 million. If it had been the 70s, 1970s and 1980s, and you had predicted that 80 million fish would return in a given year, people would have laughed at you. It simply would not have seemed possible. Here we're, you know, we live by the tide and it doesn't matter if it's day or night. We don't have to think about, you know, how much traffic there is or anything like that. What we have to think about is the fish in the net, getting them out of the net, making sure they're of great quality, um, not letting them sit in the net for very long, getting them delivered, getting them on ice. That's what we have to think about is just the, the, the quality of these meals that we're providing for people. So when we get back to Seattle, we're suddenly thinking about, um, you know, I don't know, it's a life on pavement. Here it's a life on the mud. And I think I am much more suited for a life on the mud. This year, you know, it's usually a, a slowly, kind of a tapered start, but we kind of took off about the 20, really the 23rd, something like that. Yeah, it June. started happening fast once we got to the and, and the numbers started just popping up and, and just stayed up. You know, usually you get a little bit of a, a lull, but it didn't, this year just started early and kept running. The surprising thing is that after 75 years of studying these systems, we're always humbled by not how much we know, but often how little we know. We think we have it figured out until we see something surprising. And this year's sockeye run to Bristol Bay and the Nushagak River in particular is gonna go down as one of the biggest surprises in the history of Bristol Bay. The Nushagak Fishing District and its rivers are going to uh, have a total of over 30 million fish come back to them this year. 30 million fish to these set of rivers is more than the Columbia River produced for all species of salmon in its heyday. Prior to this year, our record was from 2008 when we had 230,000 pounds, which was an unheard of number. It was an impossible number. So in 2019, we then had 262,000 pounds and that it just didn't seem possible. And then the next year, it was 277 and it's just, it's a completely different scale. This year, we beat the 277. I don't understand how, and you know, my hands don't hurt enough. I don't think we know what caused this huge run. One very plausible explanation is that the Bering Sea has warmed to the point that it's exceptionally productive for, for sake salmon from Bristol Bay. Well, we know the future is going to continue to warm. Society has to reduce how much carbon we emit to the atmosphere. That is the cause of the greenhouse effect. And even if we can reduce emissions with the snap of a finger now, the oceans have enough heat in them that they're going to be warm for decades into the future. So we are going to live in a warmer future, at least for the next few decades. At some point, for Bristol Bay sockeye, the ocean could become too warm. So there's a tipping point somewhere. And right now we don't know where that is, and we don't know where that is for most of the world's ecosystems. The fact that Bristol Bay has produced such exceptional numbers this year, I think demonstrates pretty clearly that ecosystems are sensitive to climate. And when we mess with climate, we mess with ecosystems. And in some cases they have benefits to us, and in some cases they cause some major problems. So to me, the future should look bright for Bristol Bay. The habitat is still here. The evolutionary capacity of these salmon is still here. And what we need to do is not push them too hard. We can hope for a, a future that isn't too hot and uh, we can hopefully protect the habitat and give them a fighting chance to, to continue to do well here.